there and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if this is your first video. Today is the part two of our pivot door journey. In the first video, it was still under construction. The door had been installed. We were still waiting on the handle and we had to do the drywall and all the baseboards have been put in as well as what we had to do on the outside of the home for getting into the home because our home was up several inches from the sidewalk. So we have framed it in, it is all complete and we love this door. The brand of pivot door that we used was Panda. It's a local Las Vegas company and we've been very pleased with the product. There are several other companies and distributors out there that also make pivot doors, but we were pleased with this local company and very really excited to have this door completed. And we have the pivot opening around one third of the door. Some people do it halfway, some people do it closer to one side or the other, but we liked that cool effect that it has when the door pivots, and I'll show that. So you can kind of go out the other side. It's a really cool door, it's interesting, it's one that you don't see everywhere. And I'll show you up close some of the mechanisms and how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna take you a little bit outside to see some of the door. Let's see my tripod there. So out here, you'll see we did a step. I'll turn you around. So mechanism wise, obviously there's a huge beam up here that helps support the door, but the main structure is that there's a rod that comes into the foundation of our home through here. And then also one that goes into that hefty beam up there, or oh, we still need a light for there. If you have any good recommendations for a modern light that can be outside, we've really struggled with what to put there, but more to come on that. But anyhow, that is the structure of the door. So in my previous video, I talked about how we had to build up the door to walk in, either do a ramp or a stair. And I mentioned that we have a disabled daughter who doesn't walk and she's in a wheelchair when she gets around. And so we were debating doing a ramp up to the house, but we decided on a step. Her wheelchair can still navigate the step if needed. And we tend to actually have her come through the garage where we do have a ramp. So we opted for a step, but it was a debate. We went back and forth just to make our house more handicapped accessible for our daughter since we intend to be in this home for a long time. We've also made her bedroom very handicap friendly as well as like our primary bathroom. That one is wheelchair accessible. So some things that we consider for our home, but it might not be a consideration for you. But when you do these kinds of remodels retroactively into your home, sometimes you run into issues like the door isn't flush to the ground. So our foundation has the house slightly raised off the ground and that's just how our elevation is here for our home. And so just some things to consider that it's a little tricky sometimes to put things in that you want into a home that's already existing. And we've definitely gone through hurdles with various different renovation projects. And this was just one of the ones for this project. But I'll show you the step. It was really easy. We just had some contractors come and put the forms in and lay the concrete. And there's some rebarb in there to make sure it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So here's the step. One thing we really debated on is how deep to make the step. So we have a courtyard. I'll kind of pull you back. We have a courtyard and it has some grading in here for water drainage. So we needed to be aware of that. We debated having it come just all the way across, but we didn't love that idea for different reasons. And because we wanted it to be safe for our wheelchair bound daughter, and then just for other people approaching our home, we thought a wider step would be safer and more beneficial. And it turned out really great and it's matching the concrete that's already here pretty well. So over time it will lighten too, but it's, it's great. So then you come in and the door just pushes right in into the house. I 
hope this video is helpful if you are remodeling your home or in a new build and you're considering putting in a pivot door. We have loved it. I definitely recommend Panda Door and we just love the minimal modern design that it gives our home. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe and stick around on my channel. I have plenty more home decor and home design videos and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.